Cinema 5D Video Review. Hi and welcome to the second part of the Scald X review. In the first part we've looked at the outside and now I'll show you how the Scald X 4K camera operates. To switch on you press and hold the button next to the continuously red glowing light. The camera powers up in about 12 seconds. On top of the screen there are several menus to control the camera settings. You can record up to 30 frames in 4K and 60 frames in 2K resolution. If you lower the resolution, a smaller portion of the sensor will be used. 120 frames at 1K was not enabled in the firmware used for this review. Changing ISO color temperature or the gamma curve will not affect your RAW files. These settings will be stored as metadata and can be further adjusted later. Controlling the menu is easy and mostly logical, but the three-dimensional control wheel on the hand grip can sometimes require some patience. Focal length and focus distances are displayed in the upper left. This display only shows approximate, not reliable values. Touching the screen enables autofocusing. This is a nice feature, but the autofocus speed is slow, so it is recommended to only be used in non-life situations. At the bottom there is a histogram that represents your exposure. On the right there is more information that displays values such as battery level or card space. The fan of the camera can be very loud, but as soon as you press the record button, the camera can run silently. You can control the fan speed in the menu. The lens port of the Scald X is very high, so you cannot use traditional 50mm standard rails out of the box, as the follow focus and matte box will not match the lens height. You can use a 15mm lightweight support adapter such as this one from Ari. It will allow you to install 50mm rails at the correct height. So this would be a standard 50mm rail setup. We've got a matte box, we've got an Ari MFF1 follow focus and we've got a TV Logic LCD attached via a EVF mount from wooden camera. Okay. The PL mount that is also available for the Scarlet X can be easily installed. You remove these four screws, take off the Canon mount and get the PL mount back on. When you've got a bigger setup such as this one, you can use the full size of the camera that goes with 90mm rail support. And here we've also got a bridge plate to further adjust the position of the camera. It is possible to hook up a hard disk recorder such as the Atoma Samurai we have here. Uh, this is a very affordable way to record in HD. Uh, the signal that comes from the HDSDI port of the Scald X is clean and the images look very, very nice. I didn't notice any aliasing or moray in the footage. For more video reviews or more information about the Scald X, please go to our forums at cinema5d.com. Thanks for watching. Cinema 5D.